Hey YouTube, my name is Aaron and I'm a product engineer at JTech Digital. Today we're gonna to be reviewing and unboxing our AV over IP system that allows you to transmit audio and video quality over your IP network. So today we have the JTD791, which is our transmitter, and then JTD792, which is the receiver, and also our JTD793, which is our network switch. What AV over IP solution offers is a distribution of multimedia content to your different displays across different locations over your IP network. All right, so let's get into the unboxing. So inside the box, you're gonna have the user manual, your five volt power adapter, your IR emitter, and your JTEC Digital 791 transmitter. So onto the next box, which is our receiver. So similar to the transmitter, you're gonna be receiving the same items. It's gonna be your user manual, your power adapter, your IR receiver, and also your JTEC Digital 792 receiver. And now last but not least, our AV over IP switch. So what's inside is the user manual, and you have the JTEC Digital 793 AV over IP network switch. You're gonna also have your power adapter, the RJ45 to serial cable, as well as your mounting brackets. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, we're gonna go ahead and show you our point-to-point -point connection. So first you wanna make sure that everything is powered on and the red status light is going to indicate that it is on. So now we're going to go ahead and plug in our IR cables. So your IR blaster is going to go into your transmitter. And then your IR receiver is going to go into your receiver end. Okay, so now that we have all that plugged in, we're going to go ahead and plug in our Ethernet cable. And we do recommend that you use our JTEC digital Ethernet cables for optimal performance. Okay, so now we can go ahead and plug in our source and you can use any source that you like, but for our demonstration purposes, we're gonna go ahead and use the Apple TV. So the HDMI cable from the Apple TV is gonna go into the transmitter. And then the HDMI cable from the display is gonna go into the receiver. And then we're just gonna go ahead and let that load up. All right, there you go. Now that you see the point-to-point -point connection setup works, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the most common setups that AV over IP Solutions has to offer. So the most common setups that AV over IP Solutions have to offer is the one-to-one, -one, which is your transmitter and receiver, your one-to-many, which includes a switch, transmitter, and multiple receivers, and your many-to-many, -many, which includes your switch, multiple transmitters, and multiple receivers. So now we're gonna be demonstrating our one-to-one -one, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your transmitter and receiver is powered on. The red light will indicate that it is powered and then you're also gonna plug in your ethernet cables which the green light will indicate that it is pairing. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our IR cables. They'll be labeled as IR transmitter. This one's gonna go into your transmitter unit and then your IR receiver which will go into your receiver unit. Now, once those are set up, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our video source. Your HDMI cable is gonna go into the transmitter. And then your display's HDMI cable is gonna go into your receiver. And voila, you can see that you're getting a video source. It's just that simple. Now let's move on to the one-to-many. We're gonna show our one-to-many setup using the JTD793 AV over IP network switch. This network switch offers 24 ports, which has port 1 to 11 as inputs, port 12 to 22 as outputs, and port 23 and 24 as management. This network switch does offer a web interface, and to get connected, you need a laptop or PC using a direct ethernet connection so that you can customize everything to your setup. But since we have everything configured, let's go ahead and get everything plugged in. So we're gonna get our ethernet cable from the laptop to a management port, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our receiver and we're gonna go ahead and plug it to port 14 for us. And then we're gonna get our receiver, our second receiver, and that's gonna go ahead and go into port 14. And then our transmitter is gonna go into port one. 
And so we're just gonna go ahead and wait until everything gets booted up. And there you go. Now that we have everything set up, if you would like to use the many to many, you would have to get multiple transmitters and multiple receivers with the JTD793 AV over IP network switch. So a lot of frequently asked questions that we get are what resolution does the unit support? And the answer to that is 1080p. And the second question that we mostly get is how long can you run the ethernet cable? And the answer to that is 120 meters or 400 feet over a Cat5e or Cat6 cable. So a couple of troubleshooting tips that you can use if your unit is not working is to check for cables to ensure that there aren't any open wiring or to check the resolution and refresh rate that you're outputting. And the second tip that you can use if your source is not working is try a different device. If using our switch for one to many or many to many, ensure that the switch is properly configured so that it is routed from input to output via the switch's web interface. If you aren't using our switch and you're using a third party switch like the TP-Link or Netgear, and you're trying to do a one to many setup or many to many setup, you need to make sure that you set up a VLAN to ensure that the transmitter will only send the signal to the receiver ports on the switch and not other ports. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support. Information will be provided in the description down below. All right, that is all. Please leave a like and comment. And if you wanna watch more content, go ahead and subscribe.